In today's video, we are going to be using Python to create ourselves a 10 second countdown timer. As you can see here, Python is counting down from 10 every second. And when we get to zero, it will just say blast off. Fairly simple little program, but what we're going to be looking at today is a different kind of loop to what we're used to. So in previous tutorials, we created while loops. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at something called for loops. Now for loops are used when we want to repeat a section of code a certain amount of times. Okay, and in this case we want to repeat the code 10 times and then at the end of it we write blast off. Okay, so if we know how long we want to run a loop for or a section of code, we just use a for loop. Alrighty, so to get started we're going to go up to the file menu and make a new file. We should have a blank empty screen like so. And we're going to get straight in to creating the loop. So let's write the word for. Now we need to come up with a variable here and common practice in a for loop is to use the letter i. I don't know why they use the letter i for this but let's just roll with it. That's what a lot of people do. So we write for i in range. Okay now we set up the range that we want to make this um, countdown timer work within. Okay so we start with the first value which is going to be 10. So this is our starting point. Then we put a comma and we choose when we want this loop to stop running. Okay, so we type in 0 next. So it goes all the way from 10 down to 0. Okay, and each time we count down or run through this loop we want to take 1 off the original number. So we just write in minus 1 there. So we're going to step it down by 1 each time. All right, then we put a colon at the end of that line and this starts our loop. Okay, so inside of this loop, what code do we want to run over and over again? Okay, basically we want to print or display on the screen the variable i and what it's equal to. Okay, so i will start with value 10. Okay, so we'll print that on the screen. Okay, and then we're going to go back through the loop and we're going to take one off that and we'll print that again which will be 9 go back to the start of the loop and take one off and we have 8 and that will just keep going down and down and down until we get to 0 when we get to 0 we want to write the word blast off okay so I'm going to jump outside of the loop now so once this loop is finished we're going to print on the screen blast off Okay, and that is all we need to do. So we'll save that by pressing Control S and going to the desktop. Well, actually into your documents and saving this. Let's call it Countdown Timer or something like that. Let's run it and see what happens. We'll see if it looks any good. Actually, I'll close the shell and just run that again for you. Bang. All right, so it definitely works, but it happened very quickly. Okay, what I want to do is actually see the numbers count down one by one rather than it just flicking up straight away. So what we can do here is we can actually slow it down and we can actually pause our code a little bit so it slows it right down. So what I'm going to do at the top of my code is I'm going to import the time library. Okay, remember libraries are sections of code that have been written by somebody else so it saves us having to do it. So we're importing the time library. Okay. Now each time we run through this loop and print a number, so in the first case we print the number 10, we want it to pause. Okay, so I'm going to write in time, that accesses our time library, and inside the time library we're going to access a section of code called sleep. And in brackets we tell it how long, in seconds, we want the program to pause for, or sleep for. So I'm just going to put one second. Okay, so what it's going to do is going to print the first number, which is 10, and then it's going to wait for one second, and then it's going to come back to the start of the loop, and it will take one off there, and so it'll go to 9, print 9, and then sleep for a second, it will print 8, sleep for a second, 7, and so on and so on. Okay, so I'll just save that, and test it again. Whoops, just put a 6 on the end there, I need to delete. Alright, so 10, pause, 9, pause, 8, and you can see it's just pausing for one second, and now we can see the numbers count down all the way down to zero, which is blast off. Done. 
Alrighty, so that is how you create a simple for loop in Python, and that's also showing you in this tutorial how to use the time function to pause your code for a certain amount of time. If you wanted to pause it for longer, let's say three seconds, you just change what's in the brackets there. So it'll put in the number 10, wait three seconds, put in the number 9, wait three seconds, put in the number 8, and so on. Okay, but that's a little bit too slow for my liking, so I'll just keep it as number 1. Alright, so I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully we can try and create a more complex for loop.